I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this little guy. This is Mason's old bike. I'm thinking we might just give it away. You like it? Wait, hold on. Is this a real one or a fake one? I think it's real. Let's do it. I like it. It's my favorite. Uh -huh. It's very luscious. That's nice that they made the tree tiny for us. It's more convenient when it's small. Oh, you guys look. There's Santa's pigs. <laughs> There's Santa's ducks, that's Santa's goats, and this must be Santa's ass. Man! Mason! Stop tormenting Santa's ass! Aww. What even is in here? I don't know. Did Lloyd and Harry get killed? They were probably uh, turkeys. Just take one, Mason. It's not Halloween. Did you know that's Rudolph's grandfather? Yeah. Dead serious. His name was Randolph. All right guys, it's like four o'clock right now. It's already getting dark out because it's winter time and we are about to load up some dirt bikes and go do some riding. Why? Because we're going to the Salem Indoor Motocross Track or as we call it here, Arena Cross. So we've got Mason's Cobra 50 Junior we're gonna be loading up. We got Luke's KX65 that we're gonna be loading up. A little bit of an update, if you guys were watching the videos, when we bought these, we also bought one other Cobra 50 that they put in as a, a package deal, as an older one. And we had Luke's older KX65. So both of those we sold. And some people were like, why don't you keep them? Why don't you keep them as backups? Honestly, in a perfect world, that's a great idea. It's a really good idea to have a backup bike. As you guys know, we've been to, gone to the track and we have bike problems, bikes want to start. It's always nice to have extra parts and an extra bike. Unfortunately, we just financially couldn't keep the other bikes. In fact, I kind of rolled the dice a little bit and I bought these two new bikes, hoping that we'd be able to sell the other ones in time to pay bills last month. It worked out perfectly. We were able to buy two new dirt bikes for not much more than we sold the other ones for. So in that instance, it worked out. We got lucky. But anyway, so I'm cleaning the garage. I'm trying to get things organized. I've got my desk is going to go over here where I'm going to do editing and stuff. I wanted to put the ramps right next to the garage door so that easy access when we open the garage door, the ramps are right there ready for us. The bikes are easy to get to. Things are coming together nicely in the garage. But the one thing is I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do with this little guy. This is Mason's old bike. It's an SSR 70. It's a great little bike. It's faster than a CRF 50. It's got more travel in the shocks and the forks than a CRF 50. Mason loved this bike. He learned a lot, he grew on it. It was exactly what we needed for him at the time that we got it. Now I'm not sure what to do with it. So uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might just give it away. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, of course we're gonna have to have some rules for the giveaway. I'll have to think about it for a minute. I'll let you know by the end of the video for sure, but I think we're gonna have to have some rules. You have to be age appropriate for one. I'm not gonna just give the bike away to somebody who's middle aged, some 47 year old guy that's gonna wreck it in some drunken rampage or something. You have to be age appropriate, let's say um, 10 or under. We'll say that, you either have to be 10 or under or you have to be willing to give it to somebody 10 or younger. Second rule is you have to be willing to send it. I'm not gonna give the bike to some sissy lily pansy who doesn't even wanna like ride it or jump it. You have to be willing to send it. Third, um, I don't know, I'll think about it some more. We gotta get going though.
do you think, Mason? It's wild. Is yeah. that doable? It's wild. Is this gonna meet your expectations? All right, so it's super loud in there, so I'm just stepping out here so you guys could hear me. I know the audio is not great. I actually got here and was proud of myself because I thought I remembered everything. I got the bikes, I got the gas, I got the helmets, the boots, the kids. The one thing I forgot, I forgot my Canon G7X vlogging camera. So we're doing a little vlogging with the GoPro, we're doing vlogging with the iPhone, trying to make the most of it. I'm sure the audio is not the best, but it is what it is.
study your moves. I wanted to figure out exactly how you're so fast. And I think I figured it out. I think I figured out some of your lines, man. You're like, I'm gonna turn this into a flag track if I have to. You're just gonna fly around the outside. That was pretty slick. I gotta hand it to you. Not bad. It's good seeing you. All right, how can I guys? The kids are cold. Their hands are numb. You gotta get warmer gloves or something because Luke says his hands are numb, he's having a hard time pulling in the clutch and stuff. So one by one, we're gonna get rid of all these excuses for him. Yes. yes. Yeah. What do you want? How was it? What do you think? How'd it go? Pretty good. So I love the track. It looks super fun. I'm super jealous that I didn't get to ride with you guys because I this was my favorite kind of track. It's oh, technical, close racing, no, bar banging, no. steep jumps. I loved it. I really don't know. I think the track might be a little bit too technical for you guys. Because we're trying to work on fun fundamentals. I'm trying to get them to work on standing up, <laughs> squeezing the bike with their legs, I did elbows out and things. You guys did better, but it's just really hard with that difficult of a track, that technical of a track, that's really hard to be working on fundamentals. I don't know, should we come back here or should we go somewhere else and just focus on body position for a few more times before you come back here? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, what? I kind of want to come back. You want to come back? Yeah. Uh, what's frustrating is I feel like I know what I want to tell them to do. I'm trying to explain to them what to do. The thing that's difficult is I don't have a bike. It would just be so much easier if I just got like a 125. So it'd be similar to what you're riding, Luke. And I could just demonstrate and show you what to do. They're not even listening right now. All right guys, well, we just got home. It's about 11 o'clock. Both the boys fell asleep on the way home. So I don't think we're going to do the official giveaway video today just because I haven't talked to Mason about it and uh, it's his bike. So I think he should be involved in deciding what the rules are gonna be and things. So I think we're gonna wait, but the next video, the next video for sure will be the official giveaway for the SSR 70. But just to give you a sneak peek, I think what we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna say that you have to be under 10, you have to be age appropriate or be trying to give it to somebody or get it to give it to somebody who is under 10. If you're like 14, sorry guys, if you're like 14, then go find yourself like a KLX 110 mod giveaway or something. This this isn't for you. You gotta be 10 or younger. You gotta be willing to keep it sketchy or go balls to the wall or send it or whatever, or at least be willing to try. You have to be at least willing to try to send it. And other than that, you're just gonna have to subscribe and follow us on Instagram if you have Instagram. What we're gonna do is I, I think once we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna announce the winner so this is kind of our push we're, we're at like 15 15 5 something like that this is hopefully gonna be the push to get us to 20 so as soon as we get to 20,000 subscribers we're gonna give this awesome little bike not that one that little bike right there we're gonna give it to hopefully some lucky awesome viewer and uh I'm excited, so stay tuned. Next video, I promise, will be the official giveaway video. I just gotta let Mason know about this first.